How is it going everybody? You're watching then about tech and even the most passionate Apple fanboys will have to agree that the iPhone keyboard sucks. That's right, the Apple keyboard is slow, autocorrection and prediction don't work the way we expect them to, especially after iOS 17, so that's why in this video I'm gonna teach you how to fix it. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is actually open up the App Store because yes, we're gonna get a new keyboard. So go ahead here, tap on search, and then search for G board, as you can see right here, G board. So that's what it looks like. Of course, I'm gonna have a direct link in the description. So then you tap on it, and then you're gonna come straight to this page. So then no mistakes. As you can see, Gboard is the Google keyboard. It's actually made by Google, it's excellent, and you're gonna see why it's just so much better than the Apple keyboard. So let's go ahead and download it. Of course, on yours it'll say get, and also, of course, it's free, completely free. Okay, so as soon as it finishes downloading, tap on open, as you can see right here, and then it'll say get started, and then here you have all of your information. So in order to actually enable the Gboard, we're gonna need to go to our iPhone settings. So tap on your settings, scroll down and tap on general, and then keyboard, and then you see here your keyboards, maybe you have multiple keyboards like myself, maybe you just have one, tap here and then add new keyboard as you can see and then you see right there g board so tap on it and then right there you have g board on top of that also tap on g board once again and allow full access as you can see right here enable it this is super important you'll see why in a second so allow and then now we are good to go so let me go ahead and show you why i think this is the best keyboard for the iphone so let's tap here on notes but of course you'll be able to use gboard anywhere on every single app of your iphone right and then tap and hold on your little globe right here and then you'll be able to choose gboard tap here and then as you can see you've got gboard right there it's gonna give you a ton of information i'm gonna say got it because i'm gonna tell you why i think this is the best and the most important and interesting features starting with two very important things number one on this top row as you can see we've got little tiny numbers as you can see and also we've got a dedicated key for your symbols for your punctuation so as you can see, if you tap and hold on this very first top row and let go, you can already input number. So then tap and hold, let go, tap and hold, let go, tap and hold, let go. And this may seem tiny, but this is why the iPhone keyboard is slow. Because on the iPhone keyboard, you always have to press on this button to go to another page, and then of course, choose your number, and the same goes with your symbols. As you can see right here, we've got here the period, the dot, right? And if you tap and hold, same story. We've got here question mark, we've got here comma, exclamation point, and so on. Super easy to choose, as you can see just by sliding your finger. On the iPhone, again, you would always have to tap on this button and then go to the next page and then choose your symbol or punctuation. So this is such a huge difference. For example, if you're typing something and you would have put, I am in room 24, you put room two, four. There you go. On the iPhone, you would have to put like room and then this button right here and then two, four, and then come back. So then it's just a simple thing, right? But having the ability to choose numbers on this very first page is amazing. And same thing here with your symbols. You would say, for example, how are you? Tap and hold, let go. You've got here your question mark. So extremely, extremely convenient without having to go to the second page. And of course, it doesn't stop there. I think Gboard is the best keyboard for another reason, because autocorrection and prediction, they work much better compared to the iPhone. Of course, you will only notice this and feel this if you actually download and start using, and then by using on your day-to-day, -day, you will see that prediction here works much better. It actually predicts really well in autocorrection as well, compared to the iPhone that just 
always gets the wrong thing. They always replace the words we're using with wrong ones. So not correcting, but actually giving us mistakes. And prediction is just a joke, especially in iOS 17. And to make things even better, I think one of the coolest things about Gboard is the fact that you've got Google on it. So this symbol right here is not a logo. If you tap on it, as you can see, you've got Google search. So Google, Google Translate, okay? Uh, YouTube, Maps, and Contacts as well. And the cool thing about it is you don't even exit the app. It'll give you the result right here. So imagine you're texting someone, you're talking to someone, right? On your iMessage, WhatsApp, whatever, and you're talking about a game. So let's give an example here. So let's say I wanna talk about the Celtics game, which I know is tonight. So I wanna say like, tonight, so tonight's uh, game, right? So tonight's game. And I know it's tonight, but I don't know exactly at what time. So if I tap here on Google, and then I look for Celtics, right, on the NBA, so Celtics, and then I search for it, take a look at this. It's gonna give me results right here on the keyboard. So tonight, as you can see, Monday, Pistons versus Celtics, and here we go. I know all of my info and of course I can get much more information right here without actually having to leave the the application I'm in. I mean notes of course, but if I was on WhatsApp, on iMessage or anything, it would be the exact same thing. So as you can see right here, amazing. So that's pretty much it guys and then from now on uh if you want to use it right it's always going to be there for you so if you want to open up for example your messages there we go it's there uh safari as you can see it's always there it's always going to give you uh the keyboard of course you can always change back if you want to you tap and hold and then you want to come back to iphone keyboard you got it if not, go back here to Gboard. So it's right there, built in, super easy to go backwards and forwards. So then you choose what you wanna use, if you wanna keep using or not, if you wanna sometimes use it, sometimes you don't. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna change any settings on your Gboard, of course, just open up the Gboard dedicated app. And right here, you can tap on keyboard settings and then change absolutely anything here. If you don't like auto correction or anything like that, you can just go ahead and disable or rename enable anything and all of your settings are here on Gboard. Also, for this very first time you enable it, if for some reason you open an app and it doesn't show up, just close the app, open it up once again, and then it'll be there. That's it, that's how you actually fix the iPhone keyboard and that's by literally using another one. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video as usual guys, bye bye.